Hello people, in this video let us look at the differences between windows and forceps. Both of these are instrumental deliveries, right? Instrumental or as a, uh, operative, operative obstetrics you can say. So basically both are trying to achieve what? Vaginal birth. But sometimes these are used even in cesarean delivery, okay? So what is windows? It is an instrument, okay? You want to create vacuum between it and the fetal scalp and then you will pull the pulling force is directly transmitted to the base of the fetal skull. Okay, so basically you are trying to pull the baby out by vacuum. And why do you want to do this? There are some indications you want to uh, cut short the second stage of labor or the, there is prolonged labor, there, there is fetal distress, etc. So this is um, Ventos. Okay, <clears throat> example are silic cup, some kind of a cup here or a man strom device, mitty vac Mitty vac, vac you can remember, mitty vac, pump, etc. Some instruments are there. Coming to forceps, guys, forceps is what? It's an instrument, pair of instrument. It is actually, you can say it is kind of a metallic instrument, right? It is uh, designed to, ex uh, to extract the fetal head and thereby uh, accomplish delivery of the fetus. One thing you should understand here, both the places, they did not say it is only vaginal. You can even use it in cesarean, okay? Example of uh, forceps are Wrigley's forceps, keel and forceps, etc. These forceps, uh, about it, you'll have to read a lot. Uh, individually, separately, about each of this, you'll have to read. Okay, here we are. Why? To know the differences, only the differences between ventos and forceps. Okay, uh, this uh, vent, uh, ventos or vacuum is the instrument of choice. Which is the instrument of choice, guys? Ventos. Okay, let's make it bold. It is the instrument of first choice. Forceps comes second only. But... Uh, it can quickly expedite the delivery because you know suddenly taking vacuum creating vacuum is little different difficult but forceps is quicker they are saying because windows will take long time to create the vacuum i think we should make this windows faster what do you think because handling forceps also is quite tedious unless you're very skilled and you can fastly put it because you have to put the left one and then put the right one okay then coming to uh, ventos. See, ventos you can put in, uh, basically you're using it for the head, right? Ventos you're using it for head. This much you understand. It's use it for head only. But a head in any way, if it is unrotated, unrated, mal rotated, all that is fine, but only for head. Now, when it comes to forceps, uh, it can be employed even in face presentation, uh, even in after coming head of breach. That's nice, right? Even in breach delivery, after coming head of breach, you can use. This you can use, so it will make it a better color. So you can use it in face presentation. Anterior, if the anterior is face, okay. So uh, in these places, can you put vacuum on the face, then how the baby will be able to breathe or you will suck out the white, very uh, sensitive parts. So anyways, ventos is contraindicated in these, in these cases and we can use forceps in these cases, okay. And you can use it for any gestational age. You can use it for what? Any, any gestational age. Age. That is the best thing about uh, forceps. Ventos looks like you can't use in all gestational age. Okay. Now let us come to neonate. Now neonate in uh, vacuum for the scalp there can be trauma. There can be a retinal hemorrhage. So think about this retinal hemorrhage. This is very strange, right? Retinal hemorrhage, and then uh, cephal hematoma. Cephal hematoma means blood is where between the periosteum and the skull, isn't it? So there can be an extra vasation of blood, right? Because of this. So touch the skull, there will be a swelling in the skull that can happen uh, in uh, vacuum, okay. Forceps, there is less scalp trauma because see, you are kind of not holding the scalp. Actually, you are encompassing the entire head kind of a thing. The scalp, uh, etc. It's like the fetal head remains in a protective cage, they are saying, okay, in forceps. But the thing with forceps is it is a space occupying device, okay. See here, they have written, it's a space occupying device, which is space occupying forceps. See, it has to go inside and both the pl places it has to hold, right? But vacuum is just one point entry, whichever you can see that that is enough, okay? But uh, which is space occupying forceps. As a baby, which one you would like, guys, to be put, to pull you out in case you were inside? Uh, it looks like uh, for baby-wise, uh, forceps is green, okay? For baby-wise, forceps is better. Now let's look at the mommy. Analgesia is needed more in forceps delivery. In ventos, she doesn't need so much analgesia. What about 
anesthesia regional or general anesthesia is required she need general or regional anesthesia with forceps so forceps she needs better analgesia and anesthesia which is more uh, comfortable vacuum is more comfortable with forceps there can be maternal injury genital tract laceration perineal injury can be there with forceps then postpartum discomfort is there where in forceps yes in forceps so everything doesn't uh, looks red according to mother forceps looks bad what do you say mother wise forceps looks bad baby wise forceps looks good okay now what about uh, doctor wise let's look at doctor wise now doctor wise you do you want more traction force or less traction force so traction force is more in forceps there are many types of forceps but it is difficult to use because the thing with uh, forceps is you know there's one left forceps you should find out which is right which is left then you have to put the left one then you have to put the right one lock it and uh, it is difficult to use they are saying but actually it is quick okay that's what they are saying but they said it is quick okay when it comes to ventos it is uh, simple to use just put one vacuum and pull out the baby's head no doesn't need any left right and lock the forceps and curve and pelvic curve and cephalic curve no nothing like that so it is easy to use then we just missed it yeah here yeah. see this is ventos basically in ventos what can happen the vacuum can come off and it will pop off you know like how it just pops off you the vacuum is not there so this is very high high chances are there in forceps there is high rate of successful vaginal delivery okay so now that you got it you decide you are the doctor you decide which one you want to do based on whether it is mal rotated or un rotated yes vacuum based on if it is face presentation or it is um after coming head of uh, after coming head of breech you actually use pipe forceps so in those conditions you have no choice you have to use what is indicated but if everything is the same for these two which one will you prefer looks like to me forceps has more green right but which is the instrument of choice it is ventos don't forget that it is the instrument of choice so in this video you have looked at the differences between ventos and forceps for the baby it looks like forceps is better for mother looks like ventos is better and for doctor ventos is instrument of choice okay bye bye